Hello, sunshine lovelies. Keisha Paris here. How are you doing? Welcome back to our channel. If you are new to our channel, welcome, sunshines. This video is for you as well. So, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you will see all of our upcoming videos because I have a part two of how I plant because this video here, honey is gonna be about how I plant and I want to share all of that with you all of my experiences as I go through planting in my home it's like that boho island girl chic style all right so when I was growing up in the Caribbean my mommy she loved to plant and I love to plant too the difference is a lot of that happened outdoors and I don't have outdoor space here in New York so I want to bring that island vibe mm -hmm, in my home with these lovely plants they're gonna be a part two so stay tuned as well all right so let's jump right into this video let's get down and dirty it's time to plant some pothos this dirt came in handy yes it did lots of roots are present so it's time to transform them into soil so what i did to get all of those roots so fast i placed them on the windowsill there behind that curtain so you can get more sunlight and air i got those pieces of marble potters from bella's friend elise's grandma thank you grandma just add soil spread them apart and then add more soil the black liner that the plant is in, I'm gonna place it in this golden pot, my DIY golden pot. And then I'm gonna take the same water because I want them to feel like they're in familiar surrounding. I don't wanna take away from them, I wanna add back to them. And they're already wet enough, so I don't wanna saturate them too much because overwatering could kill them. So I'm not gonna use all of the water, the rest I'll use it to wet my other plants. These are my other plants that I have around the house. I just thought I should show them because I'm about to water them. And some of them are in liners and I just placed them in these pots that I got from Target. The white one there, I DIY it. I can't remember the color it was in before and the liner inside I also DIY it. This was my first ever potters that I bought from the Brooklyn Botanical Garden. And I bought it along with these but they didn't last. Then come to find out that pothos are good for house plants. Now you see why I spread them apart like that because I wanted to place them in this beautiful plant hanger. I want to paint that hook white so it can match with the curtain rod and blend nicely with the ceiling like it did for the one that I'm using to hang my lantern. See how nicely it blends into the wall harmoniously. This is one of the plants that I showed earlier. It's all watered and it's in Bella's room. That one stays in Bella's room. This one stays on my office desk. And this one decorates our bathroom. Later on in this video, you're gonna see how big it grew. This one goes on my vanity. I only have the towel around there to cover my brushes and stuff because it goes on my face. I don't want them to be dirty. Cleanliness next to godliness. <laughs> yeah. Carmilla. What I'm gonna do here, I wanna combine both of the dirt. So in that way, the one of the plant that was sitting in the one that's dry there, this dirt, the water, when I wet it, it doesn't saturate fast enough. So I figure blending both dirt together would help for when I'm wetting, it's easier for me. Yes, we know we gotta wet the soil, but wetting the leaves makes them so happy and give them a beautiful shine. I like to place paper towel in the bottom to prevent rusting and then I can just toss them out as needed. And this is where I placed them. I wish I had videoed these pots in the earlier stage. They were so tiny. Look at how much they have grown. Thank you, Ruta, for these pieces. After a couple of days, you can see some new leaves coming in. When you see that, you get so happy. And all of these plants that I'm showing here works well for indoors. Look at them, they're so happy. You guys are happy? Yes, we are. 
They're actually responding to me. They're saying that they're happy. Bella was laughing at me. She's like, you've got to be kidding me. You're talking to your plants. <laughs> yes, that's how they say. Healthy Bella, you got to talk to them. Communicate with them. Make them happy. No, it's not weird. It's actually good. That's how they do so well. <laughs> you see what talking to them does? Look at those new big leaves. Tender love and care. I purchased these three plants at Lowe's. Um, the potters I had bought previously, then I realized I needed more dirt. So I went back to Lowe's and I bought the dirt and that other two plants. This plant here is a snake plant. That's the dirt. And this plant here in the white pot that is called Song of India. Some of the leaves are dry, I don't know why, but maybe I'll repot them later. As you can see, the potters came in two pots. Just by looking at it, you could you could see that it, it had came in two pots. But I want to put it in that big pot so it can be more full. The clear liner that I'm using is too short. So I'm using this bowl to put in the pot to give it height and also to catch the water so no rusting. These smaller pieces of potters, I'm going to be using them to place them in smaller pots. Be creative and recycle. Use pots that you already have at home. This vase is so pretty. So I was like, you know what? I want to use this. I actually have three of them. I'm going to use them to put these plants in there and it's gonna look so pretty i have an idea and look at all three of them there and the potters the bigger one i didn't repot the other two plants because i was like you know what i'm fine with it like that um for now um so you didn't see me uh repot the big potters because you know i was kind of like doing other things in the house you know busy so i was like you know what let me vlog it because i want to put it on youtube but i really don't have the time to set up right now so um you're gonna see me get done and dirty later on though in the video you're gonna see that see me really getting my hands in the dirt i love that the plants from lowe's comes with instructions and it tells you how to care for them like the these are the two pots this golden pot us came in and it tells you how to care for it. Like you can see, it's low to high light and easy to care for. And the price is just right, you know. The blue pot with the wooden handle that gave it such a nice touch is from Ikea. This plant used to be in Bella's room, as you saw earlier on in the video. But I want to repot it and put it in this glass that used to hold a candle. And I'm showing the other candles here so you can see where it came from. This is These are Ikea candles. Now I am going to repot. I'm getting down and dirty. When you're removing the plant, you want to be very gentle so you don't break it and remove the roots. So pretty much this is what you got to do when you're planting. Of course you need to put a small amount of soil in the bottom or the amount that you need based on the height of the plant and where the roots are, right? So that's what I did in all of the other plants that you saw previously. You didn't really see me do the tutorial, but this would actually tell you how it's done, right? So you're gonna put some soil in the bottom, put the plant in where the roots gonna meet, then you start adding more dirt. You see, and you're gonna use the same dirt. You don't want it to be too wet. I placed this plant in this clear glass because I want it to look more transparent. Then you could use any of these baskets as a plant pot and place your plant in there. This is how it looks presently. Now this is what I'm using to put in Bella's room. I love that transparency. I just love I can see the dirt through the glass. It is so natural looking. And then sometimes like when the roots coming in, you can see that as well. So beautiful. Peekaboo, I see ya. I'm giving them some sunshine love. And you know, you gotta give them all that TLC, talk to them, sing to them. And here are some information about photosynthesis because they need that photosynthesis. All 
of these plants are great for indoors, but placing them next to a window to get that sunshine and air makes them grow so much faster. So you remember the song of India plant that I showed earlier in the video? I decided that I want to repot it and I'm going to get two plants out of this one, okay? So it's pretty much the same thing, placing some dirt in the bottom of um, the pot and then placing the plant in the middle wherever you want it and then put in the rest of dirt. Then I'm going to place some of these pebbles that I purchased from the Dollar Tree on top of the soil to give it that beautiful appearance but it also helps to combat against fungus gods and its lava. You know those flies that keep flying around? I kept one in the original pot and the other I placed it in that one. Song of India, Mama Got You. And there goes my neighbor in the backyard. He does such a great job planting the backyard. The plants in the window, I'm going to be potting them as well, but you will see that later on in the video. These plants here that I used in Bella's room, I am going to be repotting them along with the Song of India. Sometimes, depending on the plant, if it doesn't have sufficient drainage or like enough ventilation, it doesn't do too well. So learn from my mistakes. The Song of India and these potters here from Bella's room didn't do too well. So I'm going to repot them. This one here is kind of like bent, so I want it to be straight. I'm going to use a stick from previous plants to hold it up. Then I took a piece of dry leaf from a other plant to hold it up together. You can also use twist ties. Um, you could use popsicle sticks to hold it up as well. And this is the plant. It's such a beautiful plant. I'm going to be repotting it later on in the video. So I use the dry leaves when a leaf die and use it to tie it itself. And I used it to tie that as you can see. I had to choose practical over beauty when it comes to the potters from Bella's room. All it needed was an adequate amount of airflow in the drainage area and topsoil so it doesn't feel suffocated. Later on, I'll purchase two plant pots for those other two. And of course, I'm going to show you my neighbor's fresh seasoning and plants. I mentioned him earlier in the video. And he's also from Grenada and I'm from Grenada. Grenada representing in the house. So let's take a closer look at the soil. So you see, you don't need to over water them. You just give them enough water that they need and make sure to wet the leaves. Give them all the TLC. So here I'm just rotating the plants because I don't have enough space for all of them to be on the windowsills because I don't have that amount of space. So you just want to rotate them utilize as much of that light and air space as much as you can so you can give those beautiful plants that photosynthesis that they surely need to thrive and do well so you don't have them just sitting in the house wherever you want to place them sometimes you just take them and put them out the window so they can grow more healthier so for this one here it's close to the window but it's not close enough so I would take it and hang it by the window as well. As you can see, it's hanging there so it could get its tender love and care as well. None of them gets left out. They all are treated fairly in Bella Lala Naturals house, okay? <laughs> Don't you just love to see when a new leaf is emerging? So beautiful. It makes me so happy. And remember this guy in the blue pot from earlier in the video? Look at how big it got. And after a few days, look what happened. <laughs> Here in my water fountain going and taking in all of my plants, just being at home and having my aroma of my fragrance oil burning just makes me feel so relaxed and also my incense burning from there. 
my lanterns with the candles burning just to bring that calm to our home it just makes me feel so happy so the plants makes us happy and we make the plants happy also I like to put on my Chromecast so I could get that nature vibe going from the screen makes me feel like I'm in the Caribbean you know I'm a Caribbean girl Grenada and then sometimes I take the lights off so you get the night effect as well okay do what you gotta do to keep yourself calm honey okay <laughs> This little guy here from the bathroom window, I am going to place it in this pot because I lost some of the plants from this one. Sometimes I believe what happens is when you buy plants, sometimes when you transfer them, they get a little shock because you're putting them in new soil, right? So I think that's what happened to this one, okay? So another tip is it's nice to place the same leaves, like the leaves that die into the soil so it adds nutrients it's like extra food for the plant right so now I'm gonna remove some of the soil to place that plant that I wanna um, put there I go hard for my plants I never give up on them but I have noticed in the time I've been planting that most of the times when I purchase plants, they give me a hard time. But like if somebody cut peas from their home and give it to me, like all relatives and friends would, it does pretty well. So I'm like, what's going on? Like this um, song of India here is giving me a hard time too. So here I am repotting it, transferring it again. This time I'm like, you know what? You need to go in water. You need to go back because I find that these type of plants do well. They kind of like in the bamboo family in my observation. And I have a lot of my bamboo plants in water. So I'm like, let me put it back in water for a while and let me see how it's going to do. I am not giving up. I am going to go hard and save this plant, okay? These are what's left of it and I figured putting it in a vase where it's wide in the bottom and narrow on top will give it a great support and it will have room in the bottom. This is its home. It's sitting on my vanity. Believe it or not, one of the plants that I used for decorating last Christmas, look at it. It stayed pretty well. This other one did well too but it eventually died and I placed that other one outside in the ground in soil and it's doing so well. This Chinese evergreen plant here, I got it from my Aunt Yvonne and this is how it originally came. Thank you Aunt Yvonne and also thank you for this one. This one here has a lot of long roots and it was connected like that but I decided to break it apart because if I decided to leave it in the way how it, how it was, this is how it's going to look when I um, put it in a pot and it's going to tilt to the side. I place them all in water waiting for roots to start to appear. This piece of plant here I decided to cut it because I realized it was kind of crooked and it may not stand up well in a pot and I want to be able to direct it in the way how I want to direct it. Also when I was bagging them I didn't realize that I put this one in too much of a hot water so the bottom part of it started to look yellow like if it was going to die and the top part looks okay so I decided to cut it for that purpose as well just in case to save it. Just as I had thought, the piece that I had mentioned that was turning yellow started to go a little bit crazy. So I cut out the bottom part of it and then I saved the top part. I had to cut it in two again. And this is what I got because I didn't give up on them. Originally, I wanted three pieces of plant out of this. Now look, I'm getting four pieces, but I'm going to place these two in one pot. So I'm actually going to get my three pot of Chinese evergreen. Their roots started to get longer, so I placed them in two separate pots. Stay tuned for part two of this video where you would see how I transferred them. We got enough roots, so it's time for me to transfer them into soil. This one had enough roots. I could have planted it, but I just wanted to wait. 
it's good to wait sometimes and I got these beautiful pots and I got another bag of soil so I'm ready to go and of course I use a stick to help it to stay up and I'm gonna use the same stick because that plant is very flimsy flappity 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 so it needs a lot of support to make it stand up straight okay look at all that roots and new leaves so it's just my simple usual way of planting. Place a small amount of dirt in the bottom of the pot, then place the plant. This one I, I inserted the stick with it so it could hold it up and I'm going to use the dry leaves to hold the plant up against the stick. The plant pots are prepped and ready and I got the plant pots in a regular discount store in my neighborhood. We take advantage of our neighborhood park to get the twigs to hold up our plants. Just take them home, give them a wash and package them like that. Here I am just pressing down on the soil to kind of like give it a strong foundation to hold the plant up and the stick helps for support. Look at how they are so beautiful and this one is called an arrowhead plant. My vanity is the home of this beautiful plant. For some reason, this weird mushroom thing's not growing in there, but it died eventually. So, it's a wrap a wrap a wrap. Let's wrap it up. All right, we came to the end of the video. And Paris wanna say, stay tuned for part two of this video. And you're gonna see the third piece of plant from this one, the Chinese evergreen, what it looks like, and many of my other wonderful plants. Turn on your notification bell, subscribe, share, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Pinterest. So bye guys, see you in the next one. Peace, blessings, let the blessings flow. Bye-bye.